What are these novel food? Novel food, especially for us that we are European, are represented from uh, uh, animals, vertebrates, that uh, have been never used before in Europe for eating. And uh, uh, these are especially comprised in three categories the jellyfish, the algae, and the, the insects. Uh, it's quite disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, everything that is novel no, has uh, an interrogative point that, uh, that maybe give us a new opportunity for uh, producing food, uh, producing field, uh, in a way to, be, to, to, to include uh, all these uh, aspects that you reported before. So, why to start working with, uh, with this novel food? So, conceptually, the story is more or less the same. Today, we are about 7 billion of people in the world. This is our plan, you know? And uh, you know that actually, uh, if, you, if you figure out that uh, in, in, uh, in uh, 2050, we will be 9 billion of people. So, we are not alone on this planet, but we have uh, a huge number of animals that we use for, uh, especially for meat consumption, for meat consumption. Uh, we have uh, more than 20 billion of chicks, and we have uh, so many bit, billions of cattle. We have uh, billions of sheep, and so on. We have also millions of fishes that actually, in aquaculture, we are, we are, we are growing for our, for our needs. And, uh, and we have uh, a limited uh, um, surface area that we can use for agriculture. Uh, that, of course, uh, <coughs> has not uh, an limited, infinite way to produce, because the productivity is uh, static today. And, uh, and uh, uh, this level of agriculture today is, uh, is really requiring so many resources in terms of, uh, of uh, uh, geochemical, geochemical resources and needs lots of, uh, of fresh water. You have to consider that uh, actually the agriculture is uh, consuming 70% of the available fresh water in the world. So, more or less we are eating uh, uh, this number of kilograms of meat and fish. And uh, there is a, an increment of requirement uh, in meat production and in fish production, because uh, not only we have uh, an increment of the population from uh, 7 billion to the 9 billion, but especially because uh, Asian countries uh, and South American countries uh, that are the most important, they are changing their the, the lifestyle and they are requiring more and more meat compared to the past. So there is a huge uh, demands, demands on, on meat that actually the agriculture cannot, <coughs> cannot deliver in the next future. Because, I mean, uh, we don't have uh, land uh, enough for uh, uh, cropping and growing. So this is uh, uh, the rationale that, uh, of course, uh, push us to, to, to look for this novel food. And uh, uh, the community, the scientific community, is, uh, is moving uh, in, in looking at these uh, three categories of the invertebrate for, uh, for uh, having uh, you know, uh, novel food and sustainable food. So, we can say that, that that's the rationale, that we, have, we need a lot of food, but then, of course, uh, there are also reasons on why these three categories of novel foods uh, should be studied in the next fusion. First of all, because, I mean, are categories that uh, are good for, uh, for our nutrition. Then, because, I mean, uh, they are very good for the environment and uh, they, they have also um, 
they give us also opportunity for local business and then for our for our for our economy. So concerning the nutrition, one reason that you have to remember. First of all, because uh, these are simple organisms. And because they are simple in terms of weight, uh, they produce more proteins compared to the other animals that we are actually uh, using in agriculture. So you have to consider that uh, with this, uh, with this uh, uh, organism, you can reach also 20, 25, 30 percent in mass per kilogram of proteins that you produce. And then uh, they are very good also because they are source of uh, micro micronutrients, especially trace elements, copper, nickel, uh, and uh, uh, iron that we need for our life. And they have very good pattern of fatty acid. That you know that's very important for our nutrition because today we have to be very careful in the, in the intake of the fatty acid because of our health. Then this, uh, this uh, uh, organism, they are also uh, very good for the environment. So it tends to be no, organic uh, because they, first of all, they, they require less water compared to the other organisms because they grow very fast. They are very simple, they grow very fast. They also produce less uh, um, greenhouses gases. You know that the agriculture is uh, actually responsible for about 15% of the, of, the, of, the, um, of the greenhouse gases that uh, they are responsible for uh, climate change. And then they, they are very efficient in, uh, in recycling. You can use uh, our waste, of course, controlled, and then they recycle the energy in producing proteins. So you see that this is a very nice, very good uh, portfolio of uh, the characteristics that makes this category of novel food very relevant for the environment in terms of sustainability. And then uh, there is a very good business behind it. Because, I mean, uh, we can uh, really develop new strategy in terms of having uh, uh, industry that could be more greening because they will not use chemicals. Uh, they also uh, have a socio-economical benefit because you can work at local level, so with, a, with a small houses, small families. And then, of course, uh, uh, you have a uh, uh, great also uh, business opportunity in terms of, uh, of green jobs, so uh, new jobs for the future. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, of course, it's disgusting, but uh, 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 you have to consider that uh, in Europe uh, we don't get this uh, this, uh, this organism, but. You have to consider that today about 1.5 of uh, billion of, uh, of people, uh, especially concentrated in Asia, they they, eat, they already eat this uh, uh, this novel food uh, um, because of their tradition, especially China, Japan, especially uh, Philippines uh, or Thailand. And uh, in Europe, we never started. Indeed, also the. The Catholic religion uh, uh, is reporting uh, and is giving uh, uh, advice for eating these animals, but we never started uh, uh, from the beginning of our society. <laughs> so, in fact, I mean, uh, what are the limiting factors for the reasons? I would say that, uh, first of all, is tradition, as I said before. We never started because, I mean, for tradition, to be honest, we selected the better traditional food than other food, you know? And then, of course, there is a, a, a disgusting factor, which is very, very psychological. Because, I mean, uh, today we are able to, to eat sushi, you know? Which is more or less the same. Because if you consider that one shrimp is growing on waste, it's growing on a dead body, of animals. So, and then uh, we eat 
draft without cooking. So it's unbelievable. Actually, for insects, we are more than uh, uh, 1,800 uh, uh, different uh, um, edible insects. If you multiply uh, uh, this, uh, this number with the, the different uh, proteins, lipids and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, amino acid and, uh, and uh, sugar that is uh, uh, included, then you have a really huge number of potential uh, chemicals that are great energy for, uh, for food and for feed, but at the same time they are very potentially relevant for, uh, for our medicine as well. So uh, there is really a, a, a huge context. In Europe, uh, uh, actually, uh, we cannot uh, um, uh, sell insects uh, if the regulation will be not implemented. Only in Belgium, in Netherlands, and uh, they have already uh, authorized temporarily eight different types of insects. If you go uh, in, uh, in Expo, uh, you, you go in the pavilion of Belgium, you, you will see the, 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 the type of insects that are eating. So the reason that Belgium was already starting selling, yeah. temporary of course, they cannot sell outside. Uh, the insects is because of uh, the intercultural issue. So there are so many immigrants in Belgium, especially from Asian countries, that they, they have the habit to eat the insects. And for respecting these people, that maybe they were just growing insects at, at, at their, own, their home, on home, uh, actually they are sold, uh, and, uh, and the same is done also in Netherlands. So uh, that's an end of the story of the insects. Then of course, I mean jetfish. Jetfish uh, is, as, is maybe is, is less disgusting in some way uh, compared to the compared to the um, to the insects. Uh, because I mean, uh, uh, there are animals that they they just live. Uh, they live in the in the in the sea, and uh, but as well uh, as the insects, there are so many different jellyfish. Of course, for us are we are, are disgusting because uh, no, especially for uh, uh, the the problem that we have in the sea when we go. And so it's, it's, it's in our mind, you know, we hate with the, with this organism, but, but they are quite tasty. <laughs> and then at the same time, there are so many and they are very easy to grow. Then of course we don't have supply and interest from uh, the industrial activity and uh, the community is starting, uh, uh, but it's really uh, at, uh, with, uh, with groups of people that are working on, on this issue. Then of course, uh, uh, is uh, uh, there are some uh, small producers, you can find those on the internet. And uh, uh, we need a regulation, we need law for, uh, uh, for uh, developing this, uh, uh, this new category of, of organs. So, what we will to do in the next fusion, and uh, of course, there will be a great opportunity for education. Uh, uh, for uh, this activity and for working, uh, we need uh, to uh, develop strategy for, uh, for uh, uh, making all the people uh, um, aware of uh, uh, this great opportunity. And of course, uh, uh, having a, a new research, especially in how to, uh, to, uh, to grow this, uh, this organism and how, then, uh, how to cook. Uh, how to say that. Actually, uh, uh, the opportunity is, uh, of course, for food for people uh, like us, but the opportunity is also for feeding the animals, which is quite more interesting because, I mean, uh, uh, the protein limitation, the food limitation for the animals uh, can be substituted from, from this uh, from this organism. Now, just uh, to tell you something, uh, uh, we can we can we can see some some video that we can open the sky. Exposure and uh, 
you have not to consider uh, to be discussed considering that, that this will be our food for the future so that we will lose everything here in Europe. You have to consider that this is a great opportunity for having complementary proteins, having a very interesting feed for animals, and having, having also great opportunity for, uh, for uh, uh, having uh, new chemicals uh, for different applications from uh, the medicine, uh, of course, to the, to the domestic use. So, of course, then you have to decide, you have to be freedom, completely freedom in deciding what, but as consumer. But of course, uh, for the development of our society, we cannot stop considering, you know, opportunity in, uh, in uh, creating good food and a novel field for a better use of our resources, because it should be this way. So today, compared to 50 years ago, we were developing technologies in terms of chemists, in terms of mechanics, GMO. Today we are looking for, uh, for other potential resources in terms of creating new biodiversity, creating new food and new fish. And that is it, it's, it's important because this story cannot, uh, no, cannot last if there is, uh, if we don't consider the rational, and we don't consider the aspect of nutritional aspects and social aspects. We will bring uh, uh, some of the, of the red uh, aperitifs. Yeah. They are made from insects. Yeah, no. <laughs> there are special traditions of the, the red, I mean, the red uh, is a natural red colorant that is from the from, from, from one insects. Uh, in, in Italy, I don't know your country, but in Italy we have for tradition some uh, uh, use of, of worms, uh, especially in the, in the, in the cheese, and it's actually forbidden, but they are still for tradition. So if you go in Expo, uh, you will find insects in the, in the, in the family of Belgium, you will find insects also in the Pusher's uh, uh, supermarket uh, of the home. You will see uh, there are some special places. And then, of course, in Thailand, but at the time there is a special group for that. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention.